so udf in iacs so what is udf so udf is nothing but user defined function so user defined function so we have function already so if you open any expression transformation any expression transformation just i'm opening one expression transformation go to expression or any other transformations go to expression you can find functions here built in functions so what are the functions we have so we have the string functions date functions right so we have different functions we have number function conversion function so all this function if you go to all function you can see here so each functions is for one specific functionality for example if i'm going to use some logic okay this is if logic we have to provide three different input parameter right so condition true false similarly for other functionality okay i have to give l pad l trim and then we have lower of functions we have substring in string modulus functions so a lot of functions are available right so if you use any one function so here i'm using r trim function so right hand side so it will trim so any space if you have right so it will have the any space it will remove the space on the right hand side so this is what it will go for that the trailing spaces you can see in this way okay so this way it will remove the space on the right hand side so who has written this logic so by informatica by default in informatica itself we are the logic right so anyone can use it this is called built in functions informatica has already these functions so can we write our own functions yes we can write our own functions by using udf user defined functions so there are no user defined function to display so because we haven't written any user defined function can we write it yes we can write for example this logic i'm going to take so epoch time converter so what is this epoch time converter so current time is this is the time okay this is the time actually so in unix it will take the time format into a number format so in unix it will store time into a number in this so we can convert this time so this number into a time format like this so this is equal to so this one okay so 22nd november 2024 so this is the timing we have so we can convert this one into this one so how can i convert for this we have logic so what is this epoch time so from 1970 okay so from 1970 january 1st 1970 each second will be calculated from the midnight of this one so each second will be calculated and now so this timer is in, it will automatically increase so it will it will increase okay so one by one so each second it will get so we can take this time to convert it into a human readable time stamp for example convert from epoch time to human readable date how can i convert so we have this logic okay like this so we will take this logic okay this is the logic for sql okay so we have this one so this logic somebody else has already created okay this is the one 1970 we have to do it so this one for example i am taking this time here okay this time control c to this one so i will take this one and i will run this dual okay this logic so then it will give you today's date and time right to date it is converting this into a date so from 1970 so each seconds okay 60 seconds 60 minutes so far each 24 hours so that way we have calculated how many days we will get it so that day we are calculating add to date so we are adding that days number of days to this 1970 so this logic can be created in informatica yes we can create 
so how can i create this logic into informatica for example this is a table i'm going to take source table so source table i'm going to take this student table student id student name date of birth so date of birth i'm going to make so this date of birth whatever we have so this column is in number format number source is number format so target is date format so we have to take this format this is a target table student id student name date of birth is in date format so source we have to read from the unix box as a number format and the target in data warehouse we have to load it in date and time this is the requirement okay how can i convert do we have any conversion logic okay so in project so this is the source system and for all the source table we will get this data birth column as epoch timestamp so we have to create a common function to use in mapping so everyone has to use this particular function in mapping to convert this format to this format okay this can be achieved by using maplet or user defined function in iacs okay how can i create an iacs just to log into iacs go to new go to components okay components so here you can find one options like user defined function so create a reusable function to use in transformation expressions yes we can create our own function that is nothing but user defined functions udf just to create it and go to this one so where we have to give so it will have arguments and expressions so how many arguments we need only one argument we need so that we are going to give as a number it has to convert number into date and time yes so what is the return data type so return data type is date so date data type so we have to take date a return okay so return it's like a function in oracle so we always use return right return data type yes we will use return type is date argument so how many number of arguments we have so one argument we are going to give so argument one so that is nothing but input so it's nothing but numeric input argument one we can make it like argument one itself or we can take like okay instead of this argument one we want to make this one as so epoch timestamp as number so this is the argument one it's a numeric and we have to take so what is the expression so expression we have to write it here right so what is the expression we will write so to convert it so we are using one functionality add to date same thing so whatever we are just i am going to copy it this logic okay whatever we have so this one is nothing but so from this seconds we are converting as a days right number of days and from 1970 we are going to add these many days it will be a, give you the current date similarly here also we are taking two date we are taking this date and we are adding these many days add to date these many days to this this particular date so this is the one we are going to take this is nothing but the epoch number whatever we are giving so same logic we have used here instead of this one we have to use this one here that's it right this is the parameter value so same thing i'm going to use it here control c and take this one control v but instead of this number i'm going to take this epoch number right it should be a dynamic value that's it validate expression should be valid and save this so we just created one user defined function that's it it's very simple you can create similarly n number of functions you can so consider this mapping this mapping source i have taken this source table this source table s underscore student underscore epoch so that's the source table i have taken so target i have taken here the same target t underscore 
student underscore epoch. So this is the target table I just I have taken. I, I will remove this. Okay. I I just truncated it. There is no data. Okay. In between, I'm going to use expression. Expression. But here I'm not going to use, I'm not going to write this logic. Somebody has already written as a UDF. So that UDF, I'm going to use it. So go to this expression. So create one new column. O underscore human readable timestamp. Okay. So that is nothing but date and time. Okay. Configure. This time I'm not going to write any logic. Somebody else already has written the logic. Go to user defined functions. So we already created one functions. We, we can rename this function also. Just add it. So what is the epoch number? So that is nothing but the field. So which field I have to give? This field, data birth field, right? Just to change this field, data birth. Okay. So colon UDF. So colon LKP, colon stored procedure, colon UDF. Similarly, colon, colon UDF. So colon UDF, user defined function, that is function name and input parameter value. So this one we are giving as a number. It will convert this as a date and time format. That's it. And go to this target, open this target, go to field mapping. So do this field, sorry. So do this field mapping, just to unmap it. Okay, so you can see here, so data birth is timestamp column in the target table, but data birth is coming from the source is double number. But here we have used already, right? So this is a return one we have created in function, just to take this, save this one. And I'm going to run this mapping. Okay. I'm going to run this mapping. I haven't written this logic in mapping level. So somebody else already written. Okay. Imagine that somebody else already written that I have used here as a user defined functions. Go to my jobs. So I can check it here. Succeeded. We will check whether it has been converted or not. Yes. So today's date. It has converted. So because I put one timestamp with the today's epoch time. So this time I put it here. So that's the reason it has converted into this date and time. Okay. So this is the best example for UDF, user defined function. Similarly, you can use for different other functionality also okay so user for project specific we have to generate some functionality so that can be created as a user defined function uh, we can use it this these functions into expression filter and wherever we have the expression logic we are writing router wherever we want to uh, take this expression we, we can use it okay so i hope you are clear so kindly practice it for this logic so UDF means user defined function maplet is maplet reusable logic. Okay. So anyone can use it. Anyone can use it. So that is the main purpose of this function. Somebody has used it. Somebody has created it. If you go to explore, somebody has created here. Okay. In this folder, if you want to copy this into your folder, yes, this is the user defined function. You can do it move to your folder, sorry, copy to your folder. Don't move it because if you move, this will be moved from this one. Okay, so copy to your folder and use it or copy to your folder also. Wherever you want to use it, yes, you can use. But you should know, okay, already some user defined functions are there for this logic. So that you should know. If you go and check in real time project, so this kind of symbol is there. That is nothing but it's a user defined function. F of X is function and this is like a user so this will be a user defined function so anyone can use it so thank you all